What's up everybody? Anthony here, SpecialtyMotorCars.net and I got a cool car to show you today. Uh, this is to me, and I think anybody else who knows Cadillacs, would be considered the holy grail of 1980s cars. You can see it behind me. I'm super excited to show it to you. A uh, buddy of mine and me just went down two hours uh, and picked this up out of an estate in Connecticut and the deal turned out to be uh, uh, two for one, essentially. I'm gonna show you this car, and I'm gonna show you the other car. This one I think you're really gonna love. Let's take a look. Here, 1980 Cadillac Fleetwood Brougham Coupe. Now, 1980, if people don't know, was the first year for this body style, first year for the coupe. They ran the Fleetwood Brougham Coupe from 80 to 85. Uh, 80 was a pretty significant year, though, because 1980, it had the big block six liter engine, uh, no 4100s. There was no 468 mechanisms. This was straight V8 power. Uh, so 1980 is pretty sought after. It's pretty rare too because uh, 1980, the coupe wasn't a planned car. This car wasn't even in dealer brochures uh, when Cadillac came out with these. Uh, so to find a 1980 is really cool. I have an 80 at my shop, Fleetwood Brougham Coupe in blue. But this one is really cool because this is a triple black 1980 and it's also got the de-elegance package. Take a quick peek inside here and you can see the beautiful black interior. So this car, I found it online, it was for sale. Um, unfortunately, part of an estate, someone had passed and uh, they were trying to sell off this car. And in conversation, we were talking to the folks and they had a, another car, a couple other cars for sale. Um, but they hadn't posted the other cars yet. Now, when I bought my blue 80 Fleetwood Coupe, I have a friend that I've been friends with since high school. Really. In high school, has been hounding me and hounding me and hounding me to buy my Fleetwood Coupe for me. When we were in high school, he had a Coupe de Ville. Uh, I had it for a couple of years. I had a Brome. That was the last kind of cool Cadillac he had. And he's been hounding me and hounding me and hounding me for my blue Fleetwood. And I just haven't been ready to part with it yet. Um, maybe selfishly me holding on to the car, but he's been saying, Hey, Anthony, like, you know, I, if you ever want to sell it, I want to buy it. So this car popped up and I said, okay, here's a good opportunity to acquire a rare car and I can get my buddy into a Cadillac. And this is, this is the one to have 80 triple black, uh, you know, <laughs> D elegance is there's really, it checks all the blocks. You can see it's got wire wheels. I want to give you a quick peek of this car. Uh, this car has been sitting for a while. Um, the car has been restored, and it's crazy to think that someone restored in 1980. Someone put a lot of love and effort into this car. They did a lot of paint work. They repainted the whole car. A lot of new old stock chrome, a lot of new old stock trim. They totally redid the interior very, very nicely. And, and for what we paid for the car, what he got the car for, you couldn't paint this car, you know, and that's... That's the best part of it. Someone else spent all the money and did all this work, and now he gets to enjoy the car. Now, I don't want to come off like we robbed this car because he didn't rob this car. He paid actually a premium for the car uh, because of all this work was done. But the previous owner didn't do all this work. The previous owner bought it done like this. Unfortunately, the previous owner passed away last year, and this car has sat outside. And, and just sitting outside for the last year, you can see it is starting to weather away. Now, these tires, these are like, I don't even know how old these tires are. These are Goodyear uh, Power Speak Streak 2s. They almost look like a bias ply tire. Um, but you can see here a little bit of rust just starting on some of the wheels. Again, probably from sitting outside. They did a really nice job painting the car. You know, they took all the trim off of it. There's no tape lines or anything like that. Uh, all the way down the quarters. The quarters are nice and straight. All new filler panels. The lenses are super, super clean. All the bumper rub strips are in really nice shape. A couple little inconsistencies. This is obviously supposed to be silver. They obviously painted over this. You know, there's a few things that aren't right that need to be cleaned up. You know, but they even went ahead and put all new old stock emblems on it. You know, this shouldn't say Cadillac. That should be a Fleetwood emblem. Uh, you know, but for what this car is, a little bit of love, a little bit of attention. You can see a little bit of mold just starting on the top. Uh, you know, again, another one of the wire wheels. 
hopefully we're going to try to put some acid on these wheels and clean them up. Uh, you know, but someone did a real, real nice job at doing this. It looks like they polished out all the stainless. Even could have been a Cadillac LaSalle member who had this car. So the person who passed away only had this car for like a year uh, before he passed. And then it sat outside for a year. So I know there's somebody out there that knows a lot about this car. They obviously were a member of the Cadillac LaSalle Club. Uh, and this car had to be special to somebody. Uh, then sold it to this person. Ultimately, that person didn't have it long before he passed. And then the car sat. Get into the inside of the car. All this has been recovered and recovered really nicely. Like, definitely use quality material. Seats have been restored. All the padding, you know, to do these seats over. I couldn't imagine how much money was spent on restoring this car. Even the back seat. All the side panels, the dash shows really well. It's got all new carpet in it, all the sill plates. You know, it's it's hard to replicate the interiors of these cars and show them to be what they were, uh, you know, as original. I've seen a lot of jobs done on these that were butcher jobs. This is a really nice job. They use a nice leather. All the piping is correct. You know, all the buttons are present. There's a few little things that need to be addressed, like this switch plate is broken off. The, whoop, there it goes. The driver's seat doesn't work correctly. Uh, a couple little cracks in the steering wheel, but it's a, it's a really, really nice, like I said, triple black 80 Fleetwood Coupe. This is the Holy Grail. Should probably watch it backing off, huh? Bad. Go ahead. Perfect. Go ahead. Make <laughs> Old baby baby. This car fits you. This car's gonna clean up nicely. Are we content with our purchase? Your friend's bad influence? We can make a deal right now. I'll take it off your hands. You told me you would have bought it, so I guess I'm stuck with it. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this thing, huh? D elegance. It even came with the fuzzy dice in the mirror. They got to put one of those bows on the mirror? No bows. We're not in New York. Thank God. Thank God is right. So those of you who don't know, this is my buddy Ryan. Been friends with him since high school. I don't know if I convinced him to buy his first Coupe de Ville. I was a part of that New Jersey trip when you bought your first one. You, he would, actually, that's right. Ryan went with me. When I bought my first Brome, I bought it on eBay, and Ryan went with me to buy it. And New Jersey, a couple of figure eights around the parking lot. Some figure eights around the parking lot. He knew I was in love. Some problems with the state police back before you had dealer plates. on. That the was ride. back before I was legit, yeah. But uh, that was a good trip. We lost a hubcap on the way. Two hubcaps. Two hubcaps fell off. I was speeding. Cadillac style song in the, in, the, in the tape deck. Cadillac style in the tape deck. So Ryan has been around Cadillacs and me, but he's always wanted one of these Coupe de Villes. He had a Coupe de Ville, had a couple run-ins with some ship boxes, and this is his first Fleetwood Brougham Coupe. So we're stepping up out of the Coupe de Ville from high school. I had a Fleetwood Brown Coupe, the, the first one from the Holiday Inn parking lot with the hole in the motor. I forgot about that one. Yeah. I convinced him when we were in high school to buy this $800 Fleetwood Brown Coupe that we were dumb, young kids, and uh, it ended up having a bad 4100. It was leaking coolant and fluid everywhere. So that, that wasn't even a dream that could come true. 
This is his first reel, and this is legit. This is beautiful chrome, beautiful paint, a little bit of TLC. He's a body man, so he's, he's good. Uh, you're going to be cruising style real soon. There you go. 1980 Fleetwood Brome. The best part of a 1980. And this is why everybody wants a 1980. Look at that big block. Cadillac. Someone even freshened up all under the hood here. Painted new hood insulator pad. You can't even get this hood insulator pad anymore. This is a form-fitted one. The new ones are just flat. Painted all under the hood. I think you're right. I think this car was painted in pieces. It definitely was taken apart. Definitely was really well done. They freshened up all the engine. Painted it the correct blue. Doesn't have the correct blue uh, bolts, though. Get those in stock for me? No, uh, we, can, we can freshen those up. Someone did a tune-up to it. Even put the right sticker on it. Look at that. Oh, I love this car. You want to sell it? I think I should buy this car. I got to make a profit. You do got to make a profit. Oh, man. Well, the trunk doesn't work, so. It did yesterday. You broke it. Actually, I did break it. <laughs> I opened it and it wouldn't close again after. So the best part is we went down for this car. Tomorrow, we're going to go back and get another one. Didn't expect it. I'm going to bring you along for the ride. You coming with me? I have a job. Oh, yeah, he's got a job. This is my job. <laughs> I influence people to buy cars, and I got one out of the deal, too. So I'm going to bring you along for that trip, and I'm going to let you know what that is tomorrow when we go down. Three days later. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. <laughs> this is something I've never bought ever in a while. Pop a bear behind the helm. Bet you didn't think I'd be getting a car like this out of a Fleetwood Coupe deal. This is a 1989 Chrysler Conquest. I believe the same as a Mitsubishi something or other stallion. Um, but yeah, this is a 38,000 mile car. Very, very original car. Even the interior is original. Four cylinder turbo, automatic, all the original gear. Pulled out of a garage. We didn't even know they had this car available. Should be a good summer car for you, Papa Bear. Oh, yeah. You have to get a jack and jack me out of there. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I said I was going to bring you along for the ride. Unfortunately, due to the circumstances of the sale of the car, coming through our son's estate, uh, it was very difficult, and I, I didn't want to be... I, I didn't want to be, it's a word I should use, yeah, I, I don't know. I didn't want to be an asshole, basically, uh, and have my camera out being like, oh, I'm taking your son's car away. Uh, you know, the Cadillac wasn't as bad uh, because he didn't have it for very long, but this he's had for a very long time, and it, it is a replica of a car that he had in high school, and his vanity plate even said that. So it was difficult for, and... Um, you know, I just, I, I couldn't, I couldn't do it. Anyways, so we got the car. Um, the car, I doesn't have a battery in it. I didn't even try to start it. You literally back the trailer up to the garage door and pulled it out. Uh, pulled it right up on the trailer. Usually I don't like towing a car backwards, uh, but because the car is so light and I have the weight really right over the, the axle, um, the two axles, uh, it actually towed quite nicely. But it's a 1989 Chrysler Conquest. Um, I really don't know much about these cars. Um, I know there's a few inconsistencies, like there's supposed to be uh, some lettering on the trunk here. Uh, it's missing the rear windshield wiper arm. Um, the car has had a paint job at one point, uh, but done very nicely. Um, I, I actually, you know, whoever painted this car did a really nice job. It has the original alloy wheels. 
Um, you know, needs it's a little polishing. Tires are obviously very old. Um, you know, but the interior of the car is in pretty nice shape. A little bit of wear on these side bolsters here. It's got the original automatic. Uh, that one's going in crooked there. Turbo seat belt. Um, I really wish, I don't know if these things came as T-top cars. Um, just a little bit of like light, I don't know, must or mold. Just starting to go. Uh, but it's a very cool car. Um, I've never had one of these. I'm sure they were quite hot in high school when I when I was in high school, but this was wasn't really me. The body is in super nice shape on the car. Doesn't show any rust or anything like that. Even the bottom of the car uh, is really really nice. You can see here just a little bit of wear, which I would expect given these side bolsters being as tall as they are. I don't even know what's in the back here. We just really pulled this out. There's the battery hold down, some water. Uh, I gotta go to the auto pot store and get a battery for this thing. Um, there's the original floor mats. She's dirty. Oh, that's cool. It's got the volume seat buttons. Must be the horn pad, headlights. Uh, I don't know what that is. <laughs> Uh, lift for exit, you got your mirrors, it even has the original radio, Mitsubishi computer controlled LED clock, it's a big thing, push button, digital climate control, uh, there's my headlight flipper switch, so I'm gonna go run down and get a battery for this car, uh, I don't know what any of those buttons do, they pop the hood, let me show you how clean it is, but take a look underneath. It's pretty clean under there. The car was originally from New Jersey. Um, and then the car uh, moved up to Connecticut here. I'm actually quite excited to get this car started. Give it a wash, get all this dust and pollen off. any of this opens oh, a couple extra parts I guess that's good to have window switch service manual this is one of those front-end bras oh ha, there's the wiper arm nice even has the cap I didn't even look through any of this stuff it's like stuff under here Oh, huh. leave it to Mitsubishi for that. Spare tire. Surprise, these pistons still hold this guy up. Let's take a look. I mean, the paint on the car is actually super, super nice. Uh, what is this thing? This is a Mitsubishi, I think it's a four cylinder. Tells you how much I know about these things. Uh, it's an inline four cylinder, but it's a turbo. Yeah. Let me get a battery. We're gonna see if we can fire this thing up. Um, last sticker was previous to him buying it was 09, but she said he had this car out and about um, recently. So uh, I'm gonna just check the gas and we'll get a battery. We'll see if we can fire this little girl up. All right, we're gonna get a battery in this guy. Uh, might need a new clamp here. This thing seems a little fucked up. I'm not supposed to say that on YouTube. Oh, huh. Headlights went down. That's weird. I wonder why they were up. <laughs> uh, this car. This car hasn't been run, like I said, it hasn't been on the road since 09. But the lady who I bought it from said her son has had this car out and driving. I think he attached a plate or something. Um, so I think this this one, I'm, I'm pretty confident. The gas doesn't smell bad. The oil looks really good. I'm going to give it a go. We got lights. We got lights. I don't even know if I'm going to fit in this car. Oh my God. Never mind getting in. Get, <laughs> what about getting out? Uh, 
There's a reason I don't buy cars like this. Ah! Uh, uh, no! <laughs> yeah. All right. What are we gonna do here? Shut this off. Ready? Ready, Freddy. Turn the headlights on. Nice. Wow. There it is. It actually sounds pretty good too. How many miles? Uh, 38,476 miles. I feel so clustered over to this car. Like I can't fool myself. Like, what was that Tommy boy there when he's in the suit? Like, that guy in a little suit. <laughs> How we looking? Looking good. There you have it. Don't worry, folks. He's not going to give up his Lincolns and his Cadillac. Yeah. All right, here we go. <laughs> we're not used to this. We're not used to this at all. Last time we were in a car that our arms overlapped each other was a 1960 Nash, Nash Metropolitan that I had. Let's rock it. Whoa! <laughs> Don't mind me crossing over on your side. It's all right, we've bumped arms and elbows before. Brown Even the radio Brown works. I hope the parachute works. <laughs> yeah, remember? We still got all our wheels and tires. That was like quarter throttle. I don't want to thrash on it too hard. Woo, baby! Are the miles going up? Yep, they are. That's always a good sign. Woo, baby! have it it runs it drives next we're gonna get this thing cleaned up gonna get it sorted out well, everything works out in the end although technically i let him have that cadillac because i don't have any space for cars but this doesn't take up too much space <laughs> hey i got something to show you though sneak peek look at this thing 1999 lincoln town car black 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 triple black signature series look at how clean these Original Ford Motorcraft headlights are. This car just came in. Gonna get around to white walls. You know how I feel about that. 
black canvas top, black leather interior. Look at those seats. I want everybody to guess down in the comments how many miles are on this car. Look at how clean that thing is. We got a plethora of cool cars. Let me know down in the miles how many down in the comments how many miles you think are on this, and I'll let you know in my next video. What do you think, Papa Bear? About what, kid? I have no idea. I think we've done well. Thanks everybody for watching. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and we'll see you on the next one. these catalogs though, right? No, I just love it. Oh, maybe this could be your first car. Thank you, Daddy, thank you, thank you, Daddy.